We've uh, just seen some berries at the other side of the car park, so we're going to go and make some gin. Who would have thought it slows in our own office car park? <laughs> I think the security guard's gonna come and get us. Yeah, well, he might do. We'll offer him a little tip all at Christmas. That should keep him sweet. <laughs> Lovely. Getting a few in there now. Eh? I think for a recipe we need 450 grams. So that's probably about a hundred, so about a quarter there. Maybe I have to come back tomorrow, we'll see what happens, it's going to start to get dark out here soon. Are all the slows in that bag, stick them in the freezer and in the morning, bring it out, take them to the office with me, and we shall then stick um, all these thawed out slows into our gin. Lovely job, like. There we go. Morning has broken. Now, I'm just going to open this up. There we go. All the slowberries have been in overnight. And uh, they're all frozen solid there at the minute. So I'm just going to let them thaw out through the day. Um, and then we will stick them in our gin. Lovely gobbly. I'll bet, you know, sort of bash them a bit and then uh, that'll just mean that they'll break up a little bit and then when they go into the gin, they, they're... Uh, Sounds good. That's so it. Is that therapeutic, is it? Not bad. <laughs> not bad. Right, so... so how, many, how many grams... Yeah, so what, what, we've, what we've done, we've got like one of these Kilner jars and we've filled that with half full of gin and uh, we're, we're going to put 300 grams of the slows in this and 100 grams of caster sugar. So we'll measure out 300 in here then. Yeah, first. yeah. Measure it. Oh. There we go. Oops. Oh, look at that. So is this going to change colour a lot then? Yeah, it should do. It should turn to a nice deep red by Christmas. Sound like a man of experience. Uh, well, I've, I've only drunk it before. <laughs> now, this is the first time I've ever made slow gin. Um, and I, I think my, my granddad's made it before, so that's why uh, I've been consulting him. Right. So wh go. where's that caster sugar that you very thoughtfully measured <laughs> out earlier? Here's one I prepared earlier. Lovely. So how much is that, 100 grams? That's 100 grams in there, yeah. 100 yep. grams in there? Yeah. So what we'll do, I think we shall... Uh, Put a little teeny bit more gin in from this other bottle. Just be very careful with that. And just leave a little bit at the top. Yeah, and that'll I think that'll do us. So stuff. No, see so he's the jar, just get the lid and stick it on like so. And then just if you want to just screw that screw that bit on nice and tight. Yeah, and uh, I'll let you go and wash your hands, <laughs> and uh, we'll we'll get the other we'll get the other jar made. But folks at home, that's that's how easy it is. Uh, it's just the the picking might be a bit of a, a nightmare for you uh, if you don't have any slowberries nearby. But you can always come to the Trees of My Door office block where there's like tons of them outside. I give them a good shake, and then we're going to put them in a filing cabinet, a cold dark place until tomorrow we're going to give them another shake, okay? So I'm just going to file them now. I'm just going to... Um, yeah, there. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> until tomorrow.